Hey guys, how you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you are all having a spectacular day. And of course, autodidactic means to be self-educated. And in this crazy world and crazy time we find ourselves, uh, we need to be more self-educated now, more than ever. Because if we are not self-educated, the only choice we have left is to believe what we are told. And today uh, I just wanted to cover, uh, we'll touch on the topic again of uh, castles on mountains and then we're going to have a bit of a look at an ancient Assyrian city called Nineveh. So let's jump into it. <music> So here we go, just to, have to start this, all these castles, are, uh, this is in Europe, they're all sort of Europe, uh, some are Eastern Europe, and again we just get this sort of picture, uh, we've got this rock down here, the wall's built straight on top of it, and we get this bit here, is that, see how this is all, this is, it looks like natural rock, right? but when you get in there, look, Look how you can see this, it's been shaped or machined. You can see the right angles here popping out. And I'm not sure if this is brick, like it's been built up like that and it's just aged, or if it's worked rock of some kind. It's probably the earlier. Uh, you can see the, the right angles here. And of course, this is up on a hill. Uh, so, what's under the hill? And old world structure, but yeah, look, see how this, this is the same color as this. So where does the castle stop and the hill begin? Because you can see that just goes straight down into this hill. And these kind of, you know, these have got an old world structure look. Whoops. Uh, so how deep in the ground are they? Are these? How deep in the ground are they? Here's another one. Similar, just straight down onto the rock. You see, this is some very nice work. And again, is this facade over brickwork, usual suspects, arches everywhere in here. I've started to notice many, many arches in these old structures. I thought they were just sort of retrofitted and filled in, but the more I look at it, I think a lot of these arches, you know, window type things, they're, they're built, uh, filled in with this wall in them, so they're not actually doorways or windows. And it was down here that we get, you know, just this join. What is going on there? You know, if you look in this corner here, it's, it's, it's very hard to discern. And you can even see inside this tunnel down in here. Uh, it may just be filled, but again, it's not the best resolution. And this on the outside, this rock, you know, I mean, is it part of an old structure? We've got a right angle here. Uh, and we've got, I don't know, that could be cracking, it could be you know, pillars of some kind. We don't really know. This is the thing. We're told all these stories, but then we get, I mean, look at this this rock bit here. What's going on? And why would you, <laughs> why would you build around this weird, tall piece of rock? Like, seriously, <laughs> even the plumbing goes around it. So what's going on here? This, you know, this bit looks a bit sus. This, I don't know, is that a bit weird? But look, I mean, what is that? And again, where, did, where does the castle join it? You know, these joins are just so perfect. And you've got to understand, this is structural. You know, that's, that's, that's holding, that's structural in this whole wall. So just, you know, and again here we get a natural rock all the way up. It's another another big bit in here. Just, you know, talk about making the job as hard as you possibly can. I mean, if it's not enough to build this kind of a structure up on a mountain, you know, just whack it on top of just uneven rock. Yeah, a bit strange. Another one, this is, uh, I think this is Poland, this one. 
And you can see this is a huge structure. And again, it just kind of blends into the mountain below. And this one again, you know, we see this, they sort of go down the mountain and bits just sort of pop out, out of the mountain. Like we've got these sort of courtyardy type things that are sort of going down the mountain, getting lower down. I mean, look at the size of this wall. And then this main structure, you can see this is what we call is natural rock, what we're told, and this huge castle sitting on top of it. And look where it is, look at the background, right in the middle of a mountain range. Yeah, look at this one. Uh, again, I'm not exact, exactly sure, oh, I'll have to check on this one, so I don't have the, the name in front of me, but it is in the Middle East, but uh, I mean, just look at that. Um, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, is that, that's, I uh, don't even know what to say about this. It's pretty much kind of, pre I mean, you can imagine if this had a bit more mud on it, that, that's, that's, all this would be underground, that'd be a mountain, we'd have this thing sticking out the top. And I mean, look at this, this, looks. this is just a huge star fort. Like, just built up, it's, look at the work, and again, look at the amount of bricks that would have gone into this, all the work to get it laid up, and it's just been trashed, and it's just sitting there, this huge, so how much more of this is in this building, now, is it built on top of a hill, or is it the hill? Now, is it the hill? Now, this is uh, Saint Mon Michel in France. And this is what that last picture reminded me of. And, and you can see how this is sort of built. Now, again, is this... I'm not sure if it's built on a hill or if this just is basically the structure, is the hill. But you can see we've got this massive, uh, big, you know, cathedral on top. And it's just layered down, almost in circles, coming down, down, down to the, uh, to the circuit, to the border at the bottom, the wall. The boundary, so that, uh, where are we? and this, see how that's very similar. Got these different levels coming down, and of course we can't see the top of this. Uh, I will do some more looking into this. I found this photo and just went wow, but uh, I'll look into exactly where this is and see if we can get some more information. But I mean, that's a very, very telling picture. You know, that to that. What, what have we got here? So what do you reckon about that one, guys? Uh, and this is another one. Again, this is called Castle Mountain. And, you know, we have what looks like, you know, right angles and structures and things on top, then a plateau, and then we just have this kind of stuff. You know, this kind of line that goes all the way along here. And it even goes around there. Funny things that, I don't know. See this sort of doorway looking thing? So, you know, has something sort of just flowed over this? I mean, look at that. Look, this is just like a squared off rectangle. Doorway here, going into the mountain. We've got steps, uh, or, you know, sort of... Um, uh, I've lost the word <laughs> there. Uh, this end looks rounded. And then we come down here and we get this, which you see a lot, they're sort of sloped, uh, built on an angle. But then down here again, we've got these leveled, what look like leveled walls, see, there as well. And is that a doorway? And is that a doorway? You know, what's going on here? And just here, like, is this, it just, <laughs> and you can see how the waters run down. You can see these big. You know, fishes, and this one's at the bottom of this, where it's run out, this is at the bottom of this fissure, so you can see this has also been shaped, so it'd be interesting to get a picture in there, you know, is this, is that where all the, the first, you know, the mud or whatever's been washed off, and can we see what's in there, maybe, of course not at the moment with that shadow, but, the, you know, you'll find these things all over the place, if you just put in Castle Mountain, Castle Rock, Things like this will pop up, and things that look a lot more castly than that as well. And look in the background, look at that. Looks like a pyramid. Another one. 
and just these weird, you know, and you see this a lot, tabletop mountains. You know, I mean, how do they explain that in geology, that it's sort of, you've got this thing and it's just, you can see, cut there, cut there. We, oh my gosh, look at that. See that? Look at that wall. Right angle there, right angle there. So just questions, 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 questions. And of course, you know, how old is all this? How, how, how big were the people who constructed this if this is the remnants of some kind of castle or structure? Another one. <laughs> and, and this, again, just shows you that it's just uh, like this. Okay, we've got the structure at the top, big sort of cathedral temple thing. And it just comes down the hill in layers and walls everywhere. And of course, there must be tons that's uh, been covered. And this is another one that's called Castle uh, Rock. And you get stuff like this. You know, th these kind of, it's broken up like into what looks like man made bricks and not just all the rubble around. You know, they look like bricks, don't they? You know, this sort of wall, again, terrace, that's the word I was looking for before, terracing, ha <laughs> uh, ha. So yeah, this sort of terraced look, and then of course we get uh, the mountain, what we're told is a mountain. So is this a mountain, or is this how bricks might age, or even uh, just something that's flowed over the top and buried what was below? Because when you look at them, you just get all these funny straight lines, I don't know, these sort of, I mean, this is, this is what they tell us is layering, but why is that the same colour as that and that, but we've got two lines in there, shouldn't that be the same layer? I am not a geologist, of course, I am just someone who likes to ask questions, and this one again, I mean, it just, you know, when you start to look at these, like, yeah, that, that it's not necessarily a natural mountain. You start to see, you know, look at that break. See that? Looks like a flat wall. And then this looks like a, a you know, tower pyramid. This bit here looks like it's been carved in. You know, they just have this look of levels, bricky sort of look. Of course, you know, more, um, more, um, yes, looking, <laughs> more research is needed, but here's another one, and see that, I mean, this is, and this is the thing, this is what we're told is natural rock, and this is what we're told is man-made, but where is the line? You can see this looks like the rock actually comes up and forms another part of the tower. This is clearly been flooded. That's clearly too low, that, that doorway or arch, whatever it is. And then just flooded out all the way down the mountain. And, you know, here, look, look at all this rock. And sorry, again, this isn't the best perspective. Need some of those 1600 pictures. They seem to have so much more detail than what we can do today. But yeah, look at that. And again, that's that same look, isn't it? Sort of, uh, you know, like a temple or uh, cathedral on the top and kind of uh, a town or whatever these other buildings are sort of uh, undulating down the side. And very hard to tell what's real and what's not. And in the background, we've got other, what look like towers here, other ruins. You know, what looks like shaped, flattened off land down here and here. You know, so this looks like there was something big going on. And that's without even looking at this background, because I'm sure there's a bit going on there, because again here, you can see this. Steps or something. Interesting stuff. Uh, and here is another couple, whoops, uh, same kind of thing. I think that's a mountain we saw before, just a different view. And I mean, look how, 
<laughs> Look at that. Look at that perfect angled land. That That's not natural. And again, this one. I oh, don't know why there's a big circle there. Oh, yeah, see that doorway underneath there? Towers, and again, on the top of a rock and at the top of a hill. So what's, is this natural? You can see that looks very flattened off. Oh, well, well, there. And we've got this castle on top. What is going on? And again, this, you can see this one is built up on this plateau. It's sort of a bit hard to see, but down in here, this is all rock. And see, this tower is literally sitting on this rock. This wall looks like it is part of, you know, what's the difference between this wall and this rock? Now, this is where the lines become blurred a bit. And here, this... What's going on there? Is that just a big wall? Have they covered something? Is there something else in there? Because that's one big foundation. And again, this is you know, what we mention a lot is the foundations. You know, you don't build massive buildings without huge foundations. And this, look at this. Again, this, this shows... This is what the castles and, and everything looked like in the old world. They were all painted. They were all colourful. They weren't this drab sort of cement look that we get today. They were actually all colourful. And this is the same thing. Uh, not the best picture. Of course, all the you know usual suspects. This is very Moorish looking. And just up on this mountain. Now this one... Uh, must have got a bit more mud flow on it or better soil because you know you can see the vegetation's growing back quite well but you can also see that this is up high on a mountain overlooking all this or lower I mean, just like the look of that that's a cool looking castle isn't it antiquitech everywhere all right guys so yeah mountains on castles castles that become rock uh what's the deal you know, are they actually just a big old world structure that got covered, uh, that's been worn down over a long time? Uh, or are they just structures built on top of hills and mountains that then got covered with something burying half of them? Uh, yeah, questions, questions. All right, so now let's have a look at uh, Nineveh. This is Nineveh, which is another city in ancient Assyria or was this is I'm not sure this looks like a drawing even though it does kind of look like a sepia tone photo I think that's a drawing I do have a bigger in, uh, version of that image and it just says uh, Nineveh was an important city in ancient Assyria this exceedingly great city as it was called in the book of Jonah lay on the eastern bank of the Tigris uh, in modern-day Mosul Iraq Ancient Nineveh's mound ruins are located on a level part of the plain near the river within a 180 acre area. And if we get down here, it's very, uh, this is sort of, you know, the sort of Assyrian, Phoenician, Babylonian kind of look. This building I found interesting just because it kind of looks like a pyramid, doesn't it? But just it's got these angles coming out. I mean, I guess that's what they call a ziggurat, which is fairly, uh, it's, it's just like a stacked pyramid, really, a ziggurat. This is a picture, artist's impression of what it looked like. And what you do notice with a lot of these old pictures, the artist's impressions, and you see this, you know, inside with frescoes and things, is the colour. And this is something we don't sort of think about or talk a lot about, is these buildings seem to have been like this, like seem to have been completely covered on the outside in colour and murals, not just this sort of bland whiteness that we see today. So the old world really did look a lot different to, you know, to the old world buildings that we get. I've got, got some other photos I'll show you of where they've actually gone through and ripped off all the, all the face ad, the facade. Ah... Uh, Another picture here. So this is what we see on the inside of a lot of stuff. This is, I mean, again, how, how close to Egyptian is this? This is Assyria, uh, but the colours, and this was all on the outside as well. And this is what we have <laughs> left. Pretty much a slab 
Um, it got destroyed by ISIS. Uh, so let's just have a look at a few more pics. Okay, so this is Nineveh today. And as you can see, it's kind of buried. Uh, we've got the top of this wall sticking through. One thing I do want to point out is the shape of these. See how they step up? And of course, looking uh, almost mirroring the shape of, of a ziggurat. But this uh, kind of shape we see a lot in buildings, in these sort of townhouse type buildings that we see in Europe, uh, places especially like Belgium and that, you see lines of them. And all the fronts of the houses, they're built of brick, but they're built into this shape. So I find that interesting. We've got this the same shape just repeated along this whole wall. And look at, I mean, look how buried this is. Uh, so this is, yeah, Assyria. So we're in the Middle East. And here's that wall. And this is uh, the other structure. It's just completely buried. And you can kind of see, you know, out here it looks like there's been, you know, a lot more going on. It's just all been flattened and it's just all desolate wasteland now, basically. Uh, so this is, this bit here is the Gate of Shamash, uh, which has now been <laughs> buried. Um, down here it says, Mud Brick Tower of Gate in Foreground, Reconstructed Stone Wall. So this must be reconstructed. Uh, which I mentioned in, in another video, they do this a lot when they find things. They uncover them, they're broken, and then they they put them back together, but but do they put them back together the, you know, back together the right way? Um, outer rampart in the distance, and then this is muscle. Uh, so I guess out here they're saying are the outer ramparts of the building. So you can see this is pretty pretty buried. And again, these areas, and especially the Middle East, and this always confused me as a, as a child when I was growing up, is they used to tell me that the cradles of civilization were uh, basically Sumeria and Egypt. And those places are in the middle of deserts. So <laughs> that's a lot of questions, right? Why would you settle there? How could you settle there? You know, how could you survive to get the infrastructure built if there's no... I mean, look at this landscape. Where, where were they getting their food? It just doesn't make sense at all. What makes more sense is that this was green and thriving and something's come along and covered, you know, destroyed the vegetation, covered it up and uh, I guess in some places it hasn't had a chance to grow back. In other places, whatever has covered is not really dirt and not suitable for, for trees to grow in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this whole sort of landscape looks flooded. And did you notice these? This one's actually got steps going up to it and a nice big entrance way straight into the mountain and another one here. See, one there, steps up, another entrance way and no doubt there's, you know, there's something, can you see that just in the corner? Let's so pull that a bit. Uh, there. And this is the grid that we get left with. And you can see the whole thing. Now, this isn't the city. This would be a palace. But the whole palace, look at this, is sitting up on this huge foundation. And this is how you would need to build these structures because they're so big and heavy. You would need foundations like this. And this is a question, of course, that comes up a lot with buildings in cities. How deep are the foundations for these buildings? Because we've seen them build modern buildings and they literally dig down five, six uh, stories for foundations for these, you know, tall skyscrapers. But we're supposed to believe that these old world buildings don't really have foundations. They just kind of, I don't know, whacked them up next to each other. Uh, yeah, but there's definitely a lot more going on under the ground, under our feet. And we're told about this is... A shot of, of bits of it that's left. As I said, it's a, it's a city, so, uh, you know, there's different bits of it sort of spread around, around this modern day, uh, the suburbs. And I am starting to notice these, these arches. I just sort of assumed, 
uh, in the past that, that they'd been bricked up, because you see a lot of them like this and they're bricked in, but, but it's, it's clearly an, it's an arch, an arc. Um, but now I'm thinking, because I'm starting to see a lot, you know, that it actually look like they, they were originally bricked in. So why? Why the shape? Um, it's obviously all got to do with this shape. The arc. And of course, just this is, uh, they say, 6,000, you know, around sort of 6,000 BC, one of the very first cities ever. Uh, but just look at this architecture. This is exactly the same as we've seen in all the capital buildings. The pillars, the arches, the porticos. It's exactly the same. Uh, and this one, no, you know, the facade's been taken off. And, and when we look at these buildings, that really is one of the main differences from, you know, sort of country to country, culture to culture, etc., is the face ad, the facade. They just change the look. This is an artist's impression of, oops, uh, Nineveh back in the day. And this is, I just wanted to show you, this is just to show you the scope. This was a city. You know, we've got the old features, we've got the walls, we've got the big gates, dome, towers, we've got uh, nice canals going through. Down here you can see this is the temple, and it has the canal going right around it. And of course we have, you know, these gates... You can see this. There's, there's quite a gap there to get through, and it looks like boats. You know, that's for the canal. No doubt, there's one here too. You can see two pillars. So were these really for defence? You know, and this is the thing that they, they love to tell us: everything is based on war. Everything, everything is war, war, war. Walls to protect yourself. But to me, just looking at this, this, you know, pretty much completes a circuit. They arch over all the gaps. Now, they haven't done it for the waterways, but apart from that, apart from the water where the water flows, it, it's, it's a continuous circuit. And you see, it's hard, you can't see this bit, but if an army wanted to, to get into this city, they could just use boats and sail straight in to the, to the, you know, to the main temple. And I mean, they could come in from both directions without a problem. Um, so this is not a, def a defense, uh, you know, it's not a city built for defence. It's not, you know, a walled city that is is a fort. That's not what this is. There's something else going on here with these walls. And maybe it was just the way they built them, but maybe it was to do with circuitry. Because, you know, this has been pointed out for quite a while, the circuitry sort of uh, computer board look and old structures and how they're laid out. Uh, here we go. Red brick. So I found this interesting. This is uh, part of the ruins. And I mean, you can just see how thick this wall is. I mean, just that bit there. But all red brick. This this is part of the temple. So that whole temple, uh, the one that we saw, the colourful picture, the huge thing, that, it's all red brick. Laid perfectly. Who was laying all this? I mean, does it even make sense that people would be laying this by hand? Because you imagine, to get this done, you know, quickly, imagine how many people you would need in this vicinity to lay bricks. If it was just one person, they're going, you know, what, three, four layers deep on each wall. It was, it's going to take a lot of time, but you start getting more people in there, and they're, they're just going to be in each other's way. So was this, I don't know, was this done by some kind of machine? Bricklaying? It just looks also perfect. It's all right angles. You know, we do have the curves, and they, it's just all perfect uh, geometry. And it just seems like so much work for actual people to be out there laying these bricks hand by hand. And, and then we've got to talk about the amount of bricks. I mean, how many bricks do you think are in that picture there? Because there is a fort uh, in the Florida Keys called Fort Jefferson. And it is the USA's, they tell us... The, the largest brick structure in the USA, and it has an estimated 60 million bricks in one structure. And this, that structure is actually just the citadel. It's just, uh, I can't remember if it's a pentag pentagon or a hexagon. 
Uh, but it's just basically, yeah, it's, it's not even the fort. It doesn't even have walls. 60 million bricks. Um, so it's just ridiculous. Like, where did all the bricks come from and who laid them all? And this is that old image, that sepia toned. And this is one of those images, isn't it, where we're sort of, it's really, you know, is this a picture or is this a drawing? Uh, is the question. I think it's a drawing, but look, see how it's all sort of, I don't know. Could just be a really bad, badly taken image, badly stored image. Uh, but never, nevertheless, we see here this massive pyramid ziggurat thing, massive wall on the river, on the canal, and these huge temples. And uh, built 6,000 years ago, they tell us, six thousand and uh, some more shots here this is really interesting yeah so this thing here I what caught my attention was just this line now this could be I don't know a natural crack but can you see that line and underneath we have what looks like a doorway no it's at the top of a dome sticking out of the ground maybe I don't know up here we have what look like walls See here, uh, the wall's not the best resolution, sorry. And then just look up here. Again, we just get this, this picture of just holes everywhere, doorway looking things. And this sort of f look like something's flowed over the top. And here we go, look at that. Straight into the, into the mountain. But as we get over here, what do we find? Look at this. So this uh, has obviously been carved in by the looks of it. I don't know. This has been sheared off flat. And we've got this big entranceway, you know, pillars, arches, porticos, but obviously extremely worn, worn down. And, and when you look at that, it just kind of shows you how... You know, these other rocks could be wearing down too. Because look at how rounded off it, you know, you can imagine, you know, a bit more wearing around, you know, some certain places and and we'd be told that was just a natural formation. You know, so this is kind of building sort of on the edge of that line and we get things like this, get this line through here with kind of these non-natural looking uh, holes shall we say you know here again like steps right angles just weirdness doorways going straight into the mountains and look at these obelisk pillar things now and that's the thing has this all been carved out or was this built and then has uh, time you know, changed it, aged it, are we, you know, because geology, really, it doesn't make a lot of sense when you start to look at it. I just did a video and it showed a fossilized human leg in a boot from the 1860s, I believe. Uh, so we're talking, and it was found in about the 1960s, or no, sorry, 1980s, so 120 years, and human leg is solid rock. Now, we're not, we're told that can't happen, but it has happened. I've also got a hat that was found down a mine and it's solid rock and it was down there for less than a hundred years I believe that is coming up in a future video so yeah like was this carved or was this built and something has happened stuff has flowed over because you can see this is all flowy what we was it there beforehand and then cleaned out again um, yeah what's going on here but clearly this is this is a structure that goes straight into a mountain. There. And of course, you know, across here we had those doorways and bits and walls. So just Yeah, what is going on with mountains? Here's another artist impression just to show you the size and scope. I mean look at this thing. This is sort of one of those buildings that looks like the Louvre, you know, or the palaces that we see. They're just immense. Just the work that would go into constructing that. And like I said, they were all covered uh, and colourful on the outside. And I think this may be the last pick, but this is another good one. Look at that. 
you know, rock, castle, man-made, natural. What is that? Because clearly man-made, this is what gets me. This big tower thing. And again, I'm sorry, it's, it's not the best quality picture, but it's a very interesting picture. Look how close this house is. Imagine living there next to this. Oh my God, like heaven. <laughs> um, yeah, see the top of hit of this? You can kind of see this is like the top of the towers. We see where they have those little uh, sort of brackety things going along. Clearly this looks man-made. That may be a door, I'm not sure. It's a bit squiggly, so something's happened here. And then just in this uh, formation, shall we call it? We've got, you know, doorway-looking things. And then we come up to the top, and we just get this old... Old? Well, it's not really old, but this <laughs> new theory that, you know, this new thing we've come across is where does the building stop and the mountain or the rock begin? I mean, look at look at this. This literally just melts down into this uh, tower, and you can clearly see this whole looks like the face has fallen off. And you can see there's doorways, windows, who knows, tunnels or like passageways in there. Maybe this underneath here looks like an extension down. You can see it looks like it's been cleared out or something, uh, and then it just sort of <laughs> rolls down the mountain. So very interesting, you know. And and this is starting to become apparent all over the place. You know, castle rocks, castle mountains. Oh, this is the photo where they've taken the facade off. Look at this. Clearly, like, this has been stripped. If this was, nat you know, they've left this for some reason, but if this was natural, you know, just but from because of the elements, you'd expect bits to be still hanging on, but look at this has just been ripped off uniformly. Someone's come along with scutching hammers or something. And ripped it all off, and underneath we just get the same, uh, what looks like brick. And again, they're telling us this is sort of five, six thousand years old, but look at the shapes. I mean, it looks exactly the same as the stuff that we're told is 200 years old. Uh, the only difference may be the size. And we've got all the artwork, all this stuff, and all they do is, is this what they're doing? Is this, or is this what happened? The old facade was ripped off. And just replaced the buildings remained the same uh, but the whole look was changed the whole feel of uh, the branding the branding was changed so there you go a bit about uh, Nineveh in Assyria in the Middle East so there you go guys yeah a bit of a look at castles and some ancient towns and this stuff of course is all over the place uh, you know, melted castles, old cities that are under the ground. What's going on? All right, so thanks for spending some time with me. Have a fabulous day, and I'll catch you on the next upload. Bye for now.